back, man. I look forward to getting some free. I know you do, man. So, this will be giving you 100 likes, gang. Now, look, we better go ahead and react to some more fate lore. Now, look, Heracles, you know what I'm saying? Hercules and his 12 labors explained fate stay night berserkers lore. So, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all was wanting to see this, so you know what I'm saying? We better go ahead and get into this game. Her so, Her Her Heracles, Hercules, Heracles, Hercules, Hercules is supposed to be, well, you know what I'm saying? He's always going to be like one of the strongest. The strong. It's Herc. Let's go ahead. It's Herc. Like, come on. <laughs> He's Herc. Oh, me. Let's take a closer look at the myth behind Fate Stay Night's Berserker. The Greeks called him Heracles the Romans Hercules, but they both refer to the same hero, a demigod born from Zeus, the god of thunder, and a human woman, Alcamini, the queen of thieves and granddaughter of the greatest Greek hero to exist at the time, Perseus. But Perseus was also a son of Zeus, so that makes him both the great grandfather and half-brother of Heracles. I know, it's weird. You should also know that Heracles wasn't his birth name. He was actually named It's a such you be a You better like me Subscribe, hit that bell and drop my comments Yeah, yeah a lot of you niggas be in my comments Talking that mess, man, I know you hate me My house is shaking up just like a comment Cause I give a run, nigga, ain't no baby Ain't no baby, ain't no baby Yes, I such you be a Don't be sad, be glad All I know is get lit and react to shit Let the haters get mad Cause you know they always watch it And my knee all in my pocket Like I'm in subscribe, let's watch it, yeah But you'll see why he made the switch soon. Now, Zeus already had Hera as his wife, so Zeus had to take on the form of Alcimene's husband in order to lay with her, which resulted in one of Alcimene's two sons to be the illegitimate son of Zeus, and Oof. Hera knew it, so she had plotted various ways to kill him. Before Heracles was even born, Hera had sent two witches to prevent his birth, but luckily they were diverted to the wrong room. Hera then sent two serpents to kill him as a baby, but young Heracles easily strangled them both. <laughs> After these attempts, Alcimene grew wary of Hera's plot to eliminate Heracles, so in order to protect him, she abandons him in the woods, where he is then found and picked up by the goddess Athena. Athena brings Nigga, baby Heracles wait. directly to Hera, who didn't realize at the time that the baby was the very person that she was trying to kill. Out of pity for this abandoned child, she nurses him with her own breast, granting him even more strength and power than your typical demigod. Oh, the Later magic life, nipple. Oh, Jesus. The magic nip. Heracles is raised by his mortal father, Amphitryon, and his court, which included some of the best teachers in the land. He was taught horseback riding, fencing, archery, even how to play instruments yeah. and sing. This nigga learned but all the skills. But one day during a music lesson with Linus, the son of Apollo, Heracles gets into an argument and lashes out. And claps he grabs somebody. a lyre and hits Linus over the head with it, accidentally killing him with the blow, unknowing at the time of his own godlike strength. Because of this, Amphitryon sends Heracles away to become a cowherd, Dang. a shepherd if you will, where he gains a few opportunities to use his strength. Again, later in life, Heracles becomes an accomplished hero, especially Clapping to King Creon at Thebes. He had helped defeat an opposing army, <laughs> and King Creon was very grateful for it. As a sign of thanks, he gave Heracles his daughter, Megara, to marry. With her, he had three sons, and lived a peaceful, happy life with his- I'm like, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna cap. I know all this has to do with, you know what I'm saying, of course, the origin of Heracles, but I'm like, dang. I ain't even learning about fate right now. I mean, I am, but at the same time, I'm not. Like, I'm learning true history all over again. <sighs> His family. But Hera saw this and resented him for it. So in response, oh, she see. induces madness within him, which in turn causes him to kill his children. After returning <coughs> from his state of rage, he realizes what he had just done and becomes overcome with grief. He goes to seek out advice from an oracle, who then advises him to appease to Hera by changing his name from Alcaeus to Heracles, as well as to atone for his sins by becoming a slave to his cousin, Eurystheus, the king of yes, Tyrants and Mycenae, who, fun fact, 
would not have been king had Hera not delayed Heracles' birth by a day. This is what leads to the famous 10, technically 12, labors of Heracles. The series of impossible tasks that King Eurystheus assigned to him over his 12 years of service. In exchange for being able to complete these labors, not only would he be atoned for the death of his family, but he would also be granted immortality. The first labor was the Nemean Lion, a, gift. a vicious monster whose claws were sharper than any sword and golden fur that was impervious to any attack from mortal weapons. It was terrorizing the city of Nemea and was said to have taken women as hostages. Any warrior that attempted to slay it would be devoured and their bones offered to Hades. Seven. Upon Heracles' first encounter with the lion, he attempted to slay it with a bow, not knowing that the fur made the beast impervious to such attacks. After coming to this realization, Heracles goes for a more close quarters approach and waits for the beast to enter its lair, hey, where he then stuns second. it with a club and proceeds to strangle it to death. Wow. Other accounts of the story say he just fired arrows until he hits the beast in its unarmored mouth. Either way, Heracles completed the task rather easily, but Eurystheus warned that each him. labor would become more difficult than the last. The second labor was a special one, the Lernaean Hydra, a serpentine water monster raised by Hera specifically for the purpose of killing Heracles. It had poisonous breath and what? blood so deadly that even smelling it would kill you. It dwelled in the Lake of Lerna, a place that was thought to be the entrance to the underworld. As Heracles oh, approaches the swamps surrounding Lake Lerna, he covers his mouth and nose to protect himself from the Hydra's poisons. He then lures it out by firing flaming arrows into its lair. As the Hydra is escaping, he uses a sickle or a sword to decapitate the creature. However, this is a Hydra that we're talking about here, oh, and hey, when you cut off one head, two more grow more back. Grow. Seeing as he could not defeat the creature by simply cutting off its head, he calls for help from his nephew. The nephew advises Heracles to cauterize the open necks of e This nigga has a each Hydra after decapitating them. That way they wouldn't be able to grow back. Hera, seeing as her creature was about to be destroyed, sends a giant crab to distract him. However, Heracles just crushes it under his mighty feet and <laughs> continues to slay the Hydra. Wait, I thought it was a after giant slaying crab. Both creatures, Hera commemorates them by placing them into the sky as the constellations Hydra and Cancer. And this would complete the second labor. Though, because Heracles sought out assistance from his nephew, Eurystheus didn't qualify it as one of the ten labors. Eurystheus. The next labor was the Serenian Hind, also known as the Golden Hind, a creature that was very dear to the goddess of the hunt, Eurystheus. Artemis. It had golden antlers, hooves of bronze, and was faster than an arrow in flight. Heracles did not have to slay this creature though. No, for it was clear to Hera and Eurystheus that fighting monsters was far too easy for him. This time, he had to catch the Golden Hind. The purpose of this task was to place right. Heracles in this, a lose-lose situation. Can if everything. he failed, he couldn't repent. If he succeeded, then he would incite Artemis's anger. At least that's what the king hoped for. But after spending an entire year chasing this animal all throughout Greece, Heracles finally caught it as it slept. While returning to the king with the Hind, he encounters Artemis and Apollo. Heracles begs for forgiveness and states that he was going to release the animal after showing that he had captured it. Contrary to what Eurystheus thought would happen, Artemis forgave him, and Heracles' third labor was then complete. <laughs> you, try to, you try to set my nigga up and do him dirty, and he ended up being honest, and he outplayed you. So, who? Not one of them. W. The plan had failed. The king gave Heracles yet another dangerous task. This time, he had to capture the Arimanthian boar alive, oh, a giant, oh. wild, and raging beast. During this, easy. he encountered Chiron and his fellow centaurs. In my Chiron video, I actually go over this encounter in more detail, since this was a key event that led to Chiron's demise. Aside from that, Chiron had given Heracles the advice he needed late. in order to <laughs> capture the boar. By driving it into a patch of thick snow, he could catch the beast while it was exhausted and capture it with much less of a struggle. And that's exactly what Heracles did to complete the fourth labor. The fifth turned out to be a much simpler task, but still deemed impossible by others, as well as carried the intent to humiliate Heracles more than anything. He was told to clean the stables of King Augeas. This king had possessed stables that were home to the most cattle in the country, and they had never been cleaned. Oh, no. With 3,000 cattle. Oh, this nigga had to clean a bunch of shit. 
Nigga, imagine cleaning this shit from 3,000 cows. Are you fucking kidding me? Or what the fuck? Cattle and 30 years for all the filth to accumulate, you can imagine that this could very well be Heracles' hardest task yet. 30 years of 3,000 cows the ante shit. even more by telling Augeus that if he could clean it all in a single day, then he would claim one tenth of the cattle for himself. Nigga, Augeus would... accepted. Heracles then proceeded to complete the task in a single day by diverting not one but two. <laughs> Wash out the stable in its entirety. Genius. However, Thank because you. the majority of work for this task was done by the rivers and not Heracles himself, Suck Eurystheus dick. disregarded this as a completed Get labor as well. Out of here, the bro! Work smarter, not harder. He, he, he! Fuck! Wow! The hating bitch, hating. Treat my nigga like they did now for me, bro. That's <gasps> season two is here. The next assignment was another ghost. Let's watch season two of the shield hero. Heracles had to defeat the Stymphalian birds, man-eating creatures with bronze beaks, poisonous man dung, and birds. metallic feathers that they could launch as projectiles. Oh, no. These were actually the pets of Artemis that had migrated to a marsh and bred quickly without restraint. Heracles couldn't enter the marsh directly because the ground couldn't support his weight, so instead what? he sets himself up on a mountain overlooking the marsh and snipes each of the birds with arrows dipped in poison from the hydra, thus completing the oh. sixth labor. The seventh was another capture mission. This time it was the Cretan Bull, a gift to King Minos from Poseidon, yeah. intended to be used as an offering. That's Poseidon from Smite! Ah, I just got so excited. Oh, that made me miss Smite, bro. Release the Kraken! You know, I used to smack niggas with. <laughs> You know, so when I get mad, I go pick Bacchus or somebody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but instead, it was kept alive. Poseidon, who was angered by this, makes King Minos' wife fall in love with the bull, and the resulting kin what? is the first Minotaur. Then Poseidon enrages we out here fucking bulls. the bull, causing it to wreak havoc that on bull the dick must Heracles was able to sneak up on the bull and wrestle with it a little before finally <laughs> subduing and capturing it. Completing the seventh labor. Look at this thing. Heracles' eighth labor was to steal the mares of Diomedes. Diomedes was the king of Thrace and the son of Ares, the god of war. His mares were a group of four man eating horses. Each were what? majestic on their own, yet untamable because of their diet of human flesh. Heracles brought along some young companions with him to gather the horses, but after being chased by Diomedes' men, he had no choice but to turn and fight. He left the horses with the youth. And after defeating Diomedes, nigga, man eating horses? Oh my god! He returned to find that one of the horses had eaten one of his companions. Enraged by this, Heracles fed Diomedes to the horses, and then used that opportunity to tie their mouths shut, which allowed for a less dangerous journey back to Eurystheus. With that labor complete, the ninth became a task to retrieve the belt of Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons. The belt oh. was a gift from her father Ares, and this would have been the easiest task yet, if Hera had not interfered. You see, oh, Hippolyta God. was very impressed by Heracles' accomplishments, and would have agreed to give him the belt, but Hera disguised herself as an Amazon, and told them that the strangers that were coming were there to abduct their queen. The Amazons oh, then rode to confront Heracles, and when they did, bitch. Heracles thought that Hippolyta had planned to never give up the belt in the first place and put up a fight regardless. So Heracles defends the attack, kills Hippolyta, takes the belt for himself, and sails back home, having completed the ninth labor. Fuck labor Hera. time was to capture the cattle of Gary. And I ain't even gonna cap, I play Hera on Smite too, I play I was fire as fuck with Hera. <laughs> Garion was a giant that had three heads, six arms, and six legs. He lived on the island of Erythia to the far west. The journey there was an adventure in itself that had various side stories among it. Like while crossing the Libyan desert, Heracles tried to shoot an arrow at the sun and gained the chariot of Helios because of it. When he finally reaches the island, he finds the cattle to be guarded by the two-headed dog Orthrus and the herdsmen. He kills both with a single blow from his olive wood club. <coughs> Garion overheard the commotion and geared up with three shields, three spears, and three helmets. 
Heracles so decides to flee, and snipes so Garion from afar with one of his trusted okay. poison-tipped arrows, ending the fight before it even began. Though that wasn't the hard part. In order for the labor to be counted as successful, he needed to deliver the herd in its entirety. Some cattle got stolen, and some were scattered by Hera herself, but within a year, he managed to retrieve them all again. Hera, determined to make Heracles fail this labor, raised the level of a river that he needed to pass, oh, making it uncrossable. My Heracles, God. having absolutely none of it, piled stones Hera, into the river bitch. to make the water less deep. He crossed and delivered the cattle to Eurystheus, completing the tenth labor. Now, normally he would be done the labors, but because two of his previous ten were discounted, there were two additional ones that were requested of him. This eleventh labor was to steal the golden apples of Hesperides. Oh. The Hesperides were the nymphs of the evening that inhabited a special orchid that belonged to Hera. In this garden could be found a single apple tree that produces golden apples. The only problem? Heracles didn't know where the garden was. To solve this, he confronted a shape-shifting sea god and got the location. En route to the garden, he encountered the imprisoned titan Prometheus, the one that stole fire from the gods and gave it to mankind. Heracles freed Prometheus, and in return, Prometheus told him that his brother Atlas would be able to guide him to the sacred garden. However, Atlas was occupied. Nigga, okay. <laughs> this is just a history crash course. Let's just finish the video. God, I, okay, I hope this. I know the second part is gonna be more of like the fate stuff. I go, Cat, though, I'm interested. I'm not even bored. This is actually entertaining. I'm just like, dang, I didn't know I was gonna get hit with a lesson again, though. Occupied with carrying the heavens on his shoulders, it was punishment for aiding the I Titans during their war with bro. the gods. So he offered Heracles a deal. If Heracles would hold the heavens in his absence, Atlas will in turn retrieve the golden apples. Heracles agreed, and with Athena's assistance, he was able to support the heavens while Atlas traveled to the gardens and took the golden apples. This wasn't w that bad brother. of a trade, because Hera had trained a 100-headed dragon known as the Latin to defend the golden apple tree. Fucking After returning bitch. with the apples in hand, Atlas was reluctant to take the heavens back, but before he wandered off, Heracles tricked Atlas into taking back his position under the pretense of switching to a more comfortable position. But instead of switching back again, he just took the apples and left. This was the labor that Eurystheus <laughs> truly thought to be impossible. But yet again, Heracles turned up successful. For, for the twelfth and final labor was the capture of Cerberus. The <laughs> I know that nigga's back hurt. <laughs> that nigga hurt me. He's just like, <laughs> oh, oh, ninjas. Just, just wait. Count of Hades, a three-headed hellhound that, that guards hurt. the gates of the underworld and prevents the dead from leaving. Funnily enough, Cerberus was actually the brother different. of every other multi-headed monster that Heracles had slain. Now, as Hermes and Athena guide Heracles through the underworld. He meets Hades and requests to bring his hellhound back to the surface. Hades agrees, but under the condition that he captures the beast without using any weapons. So Heracles once again wrestles with yet Fuck another mythological creature and subdues it with only his hands. He brings the beast of hell to Eurystheus and completes the final labor. The king, frightened by this three-headed hound and the strength of Heracles to overcome such a beast along with the eleven other labors, cowers in fear and releases Heracles from his duties, counting this oh, as the twelfth and final labor. Like, now you'd fuck? think that this would be the end of his story, but this merely marked the beginning of Heracles' journey as an immortal demigod and Greece's greatest hero. But still, all throughout the rest of his life, Hera despised his existence, and eventually hey, Heracles was killed by the very Hydra poison that he used to achieve so much, and it was from what? the actions of his wives no less. As he succumbs to the poison, he builds his own pyre and lights himself on fire, leaving his mortal body behind and rising to Olympus to be judged by Zeus. The gods acknowledge his heroic feats, and they make a seat for him in Olympus alongside the rest of them, marking him as a god himself. What? And that's the story of Heracles slash Hercules, an absolute unit that just kept doing task <coughs> after task, not knowing that it was his very birth that resulted in such things. It's a shame that he was constantly tormented by Hera, 
But right. if not for Fucking that, he wouldn't bitch. be the hero that we all know today. And now, he's a berserker servant that fights in the Holy Grail War. <laughs> of course, this summary of him and his 12 labors is just one of the many variants that can be told, and there's still plenty more to his story. But I think I've shared enough of the interesting stuff. Anyway, next time we'll go over all his skills and abilities in Fate to see just how strong he is in the Holy Grail this War. Was the so as always, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this type of anime uh, content, then you- no, but this was a WV, bro. I go cap. Lots of info. I mean, I just got a whole refresher on Hercules and his whole lore and everything, and even learned a little bit of new info. So honestly, I'm not even mad, you know what I'm saying? So I can't wait for part two, y'all. Um, comment down below what you guys think of this video, man. Uh, smash the like button if you guys like this reaction, man. Uh, comment down below what you guys want me to react to next, man. Comment down below what you guys' thoughts, man. Make sure y'all share this video, gang. Uh, show some love to the Twitch. Hop in the Discord, gang. And I will see y'all in the next video. Shit! This is the boss!